Hello, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, to show the way to fix ray tracing performance when using landscapes in Unreal Engine 4. This is Unreal Engine 4.26. Landscape ray tracing was recently added and I've noticed that some people are complaining about really bad performance with landscape ray tracing enabled. Right now you'll see that I'm getting about 90 FPS. This is with a uh, an 8K landscape and uh, ray tracing enabled on an RTX 3080. And you'll notice that as I start to move the camera here, uh, my frame rate drops down. I'm getting about 10 FPS. If I hold it still, it all comes back. And if we go into stat GPU, since that's where we can see the performance drop is in the GPU, you'll notice that the ray tracing dynamic geometry update figure is going up to uh, 88 when in motion and drops down to the single digits uh, when stationary. And this is the problem here. Basically, by default, Unreal's level of detail in the geometry of landscapes is way too high for the geometry update that ray tracing does. So if we come up here, you can see that the, the wireframe in the distance this is just with the default settings, is extremely dense. And this is what causes the performance drop. So the fix to this is pretty straightforward. We really just need to take advantage of uh, the landscape LOD system. And I quickly, I just want to also show you what happens if we turn off landscape ray tracing. So this is with ray tracing on, but landscape ray tracing off. And you'll notice that in reflections here, the landscape is just completely missing from the ray tracing, but you'll also see that I'm getting 120 FPS and I can move the camera around. So in a non-ray traced scene, this level of detail on geometry is technically possible and acceptable, but if you are using ray tracing, you have to compromise somewhere in order to get performance levels. So let's go ahead and go into our landscape actor here. And we're just going to pull up the LOD. And you'll notice um, a couple of settings here. LOD screen size, LOD, LOD zero screen size, LOD zero, and other LODs. And this controls how much of each LOD is visible uh, across the landscape. So we're going to go into here and you'll see that we really only have two, three LODs visible right now. Uh, and there's very little reduction in the geometry going on. And that's the main issue. So let's go ahead and take a look at these settings here. You'll notice that uh, this default setting here for LED zero screen size uh, is 0 0.5. And the tooltip actually says that by default, it's supposed to be one, uh, but it isn't. So I don't know if that's a bug. And this is true for all of these. They have non-default settings by default. This is which the third person template. I've just imported an 8K landscape. I haven't really done anything else. Uh, you say It says that you can increase the value if you want less LOD zero and if you use very large landscape components. So uh, for our purpose, we're just going to go ahead and increase this to a rather high number. So I'm going to go with 1.75 uh, for right now. And you'll see now it's changed our landscape uh, LOD. And let's go ahead and hop over into wireframe. You can see that the distant LOD is a fair bit less dense. So let's go ahead and go to LOD zero since we've pretty much eliminated our LOD zero, which we don't want either. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this down to one. And you'll see that this one says that it's supposed to be 1.75 by default but it isn't. Uh, and now let's also take other LODs, which by default is set to three. It says uh, two is the normal distribution. A small number means you want l your last LOD to take up more screen space, and a big number means you want your first LOD to take up more screen space. And we're gonna go ahead and take that down to 1.5. And so now you can see that the distant geometry is significantly less detailed, but Unreal has a really smart LOD 
management system that allows us to uh, lose very little detail when looking at distant terrain uh, because it understands the screen space. So, uh, you know, obviously this doesn't look super great, but it has no textures, it has no objects on it that would normally hide uh, no materials that would hide the the loss of detail here. So even though it, you know, it, obviously it's a lot sharper on certain edges and you could experiment with these parameters to try to find something that works better for uh, your settings. But this is just, you know, what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and uh, turn our landscape ray tracing back on. You'll see that I'm at 100 FPS and as I move the camera, I'm still getting 90, 80 FPS, depending on how fast I move things around. If I go ahead and hop into game mode, you can see that the landscape is ray tracing, the performance is great, and everything is perfect. So this is really the only way I could figure out to resolve this issue. Um, and obviously, your, each project is going to need some fine tuning to the parameters in order to find something that works well and looks right, but obviously you can see here that that this goes a long way to help basically the ray tracing performance uh, calculations are updating every frame and that's taking up a huge amount of the GP, GPU performance and all we have to do is reduce the complexity of that geometry to bring it to a level that is more reasonable for large landscapes in particular. You might not necessarily need to make as significant a compromise if you're dealing with a smaller landscape, like a 2K landscape. Um, so every project is going to be a little different, but I just wanted to point out that it is definitely possible using the landscape LOD system to get real-time ray tracing for your landscape running in your Unreal projects. I hope this helped, and uh, thanks for watching.